All right, so with the OSI model, it's kind of, uh, kind of a cool thing called the Open Systems Interconnectivity. And this is something that tells you different layers in the network that different communications go on, okay? And what happens is as I send a message on the network from one machine to another, we communicate using two protocols. One's TCP, one's UDP. But we need to have a way that we can bring services to life. So when we download things on our phones, we go to what store? So the layer of the OSI model that we see, so humans actually interact with on devices, is called the app layer, the application layer. And that does things like email, web browsers, um, anything that has an interface allows us to communicate with the app layer. But essentially what this does is it breaks it up and adds components along the network traffic to be able to communi communicate across the network. And there's an easy way to remember this. There's seven layers of the OSI model, so you may actually have a question on, on that as well. Seven layers are in the OSI model. And then how do you remember the way from layer seven to layer one to try to recite this back to me? And that's through mnemonics. So there's a couple different ways that I'm going to give you. The first one's going to be what older people usually use. The second one's going to be something you're going to remember. So take notes for both of them. First one down here, the mnemonic that that begins is all PCs need data processing. All PCs need data processing. Okay? So that's from layer seven to layer one. Layer seven, layer one, okay? But wait, there's an easier way for you. I'm gonna throw you a bone here. You can write either one of these tomorrow morning whenever I'm giving you a test on how we communicate using the OSI model. Check it out. So if I'm going from layer one up to layer seven, right? Let's say I'm sending something to uh, Big Juan back in the back here. If I'm going, send something to him, I'm going to interact with the application layer, I'm going to do the session, and then I'm going to go in and figure out on the network where he's at, and then I'm going to actually start to send pulses across the network, either wirelessly or if we're using a wire cable, to that machine over there. And that's where, through the network, and then when it gets to his machine, he's going to do the reverse zombie dial as he's receiving it. His computer reads it from the network card. It takes it, turns those pulses up to other information in the network, transport, session, presentation, all the way up to the GUI that he interacts in the app layer. All right? So as he does that, all the while, this is how it works. In the app layer at the top, there's some sort of data that is in that app that you're playing with. It gets appended to on how to present it. So like HTML or PDF document or a doc, a Word document or PowerPoint. How is it going to be presented to the end user? And then from that, it gets added to session, it gets added to transport, added to network, added to data link, and added to Facebook. I call this, it kind of looks like an Aztecian pyramid here. The Aztec opinion that's what it looks like so if you hear a question on how a process called encapsulation works kind of like an Aztecian pyramid where data gets appended to it as it moves up or down the stack and then it gets removed as it moves up the stack so the easy way to remember it here hopefully I kept your attention for a little bit way to remember it is mnemonics. Please do not throw Sauce 
melted pizza away. So from layer one up to layer seven, please do not throw sausage pizza away. 